Welcome back to my channel everyone. Hi, my name is Ronnie and today we're going to make this tiny little bee. He's got two legs. Two antennas and a stinger. So what do you need to make this cute little tiny bee? You will need some yellow yarn. Won't need quite this much, but a little bit. Some black yarn. You will need whoa, two safety eyes with backs, a stitch marker, a darning needle, a pair of scissors, a four millimeter hook, some stuffing, I'm using fiber fill. So, get your hook and your yellow, yellow yarn and we'll get started. Row one. Make a magic circle. We're going to place six single crochets in the magic circle. Once you have your six, go ahead and clean, clean, close up that circle row two two single crochets in each stitch And I place my stitch marker <clears throat> in the last stitch that I made. You should now have 12 stitches. Row 3. One single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochets in the second stitch. This is your repeat for this round. One single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochets in the second stitch. Once I get to the end of the row, I'll be back. Okay. <clears throat> You should have 18 stitches now. We're going to put the eyes in. So <clears throat> turn your stitch marker so it's facing you or at the bottom. We're going to put the eyes in between the second and the third row. I'll show you how I do it. I find where I want the hole, where I want the eyes to be, and I make sure that that's okay. If if you decide that's not okay and you want them further apart, you know that's fine. This is your B, but I place there's three holes 
three stitch holes between the eyes. And then when I put the backs on, in the back, on the backs, there is a big hole and there is a little hole. I put the little hole, I put the I put the eye through the little hole first. Don't know if you can see that. And then I push them in. <coughs> as tight as it'll go. This, by doing it this way, it keeps your eye so it don't sink in. If you flip the back around and go through and put it on, say like this, then your eye will sink in and you won't be able to get it to get back out. So I turn it around and go through the little hole. Like that. I hope that makes sense. So we're going to do one more row in yellow. <clears throat> and we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. When you get to the last single crochet, don't do it. We're going to change colors and I'll help you with that. And I'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> I'm here in my last stitch. We're going to go into the stitch with our yellow yarn. And we're going to pull up a loop. And we're not going to finish it. I'm going to put a slip knot on my hook. And finish it with the black and you just pull the black all the way through and then I'm going to go ahead and make one single crochet in the next stitch so it don't come apart I'm going to put my stitch marker back in and we're going to leave the yellow on the hook we're not going to fasten it off and it's <clears throat> you could probably tell that your work is starting to curl that's supposed to happen just turn it th back the right way so now for the next two rows you're going to just place one single crochet in each stitch around for two rows. At the end of each row, you should still have 18 stitches. When I get done with my two rows in black, I will return. All right, I've made it to the end of the black we're going to pull our yarn through but we're not going to finish it we're going to drop the black and pick up the yellow and I hold the black down with my fingers and then we're going to finish the single crochet so now Place your stitch marker back so you don't lose where you're at. Don't, <clears throat> don't cut off the black because we'll need it one more time. So for the next two rows, we will be doing one single crochet in each stitch. At 
at the end of each row you will have 18 in 18 stitches once I get done with my two rows I'll return all right <clears throat> I've made it to my last stitch so I'm going to start the yellow and finish with the black I'm going to put my stitch marker in my last stitch. I'm going to fasten off the yellow. We're all done with the yellow. So it can be put up. And I cut just a little bit of a tail. And then I take the black yarn and I will tie it on to the black yarn. So it don't come loose. And so don't unravel. And just stick that tail down inside. It's not going to hurt anything. So now we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. At the end of the round, you should have 18 stitches, and I'll be back when I'm done with that. Okay. We are on row 10, and it's time for decreases. So what we're going to do is we're going to place one single crochet in the first stitch, and then we're going to do a single crochet decrease in the next two. What you do is you put your... <clears throat> hook in the stitch and you pull up a loop and you go to your next stitch and you pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over and go through all three loops that's a single crochet decrease I'll do it one more time with you first we need to make one single crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to do a single crochet decrease Go in a stitch, pull up the loop. Go in the next stitch and pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three loops. This is your repeat for this round. One single crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet decrease. Go in the stitch, pull up a loop. Go into the next stitch, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, go through all three loops. Once my row is done, I'll be back and we'll stuff the bee. You should now have 12 stitches. In your last two stitches, you should have been putting a single crochet decrease. So now we're just going to fill our bee with fiber fill. If you don't have fiber fill, you can use just about anything. You can use cotton balls. I've had to do that before. You can use yarn, um, quilting scraps. I like to put a lot in so that my bee is nice and firm. I think that's probably enough. We have one more row, and all it is is a single crochet decrease. This will cut your stitches from 12 to 6. 
And we're just going to do this all the way around. It can be a little hard, but I just hold the bee with my one hand and keep crocheting. You can put your stitch marker up because we won't need it no more. This is my last decrease, and then in the next stitch, then I do a slip stitch. Chain one, fasten off, but leave a little bit of a tail because we do need to um, sew in the end. So you chain one, you pull your yarn through, and you pull tight. So, so far, this is what you should have. We're not going to close this in yet. We're going to make the stinger, and then we're going to put half the stinger in there. And I'll show you all that. Coming up next. So let's go ahead and make the stinger. You need a slip knot on your hook. I leave a little extra of a tail at the beginning and at the end. We're going to chain four. Starting in the second stitch from the hook, I go in the back loops. We're going to slip stitch in each chain. So you will have three slip stitches in your chain. And chain one and fasten off. Pull that yarn through and tighten. And this is what your stinger should look like. We're going to go ahead and sew this on to the bee and close the bee up. So get your needle out. I take the short end and put it on my hook, on my needle. And then we're just going to go down inside the hole and come out another hole within the stitch work. Try not to split your yarn because it will show. And then I get the other tail. And we're going to do the same thing. Go down into the stuffing. and come out the same place you came out with the other tail. Hopefully you can see this. I know it's black. Right here's your tail. Right here's your stinger and right here's your circle. So we're going to go ahead and close up that end and then I'll show you what to do with the tails from the stinger. And all I do is I weave in and out of the stitches. We're 
we're going to close up this hole here in just a minute. Once you've made it completely around, you just pull tight. And that closes up that hole. Other than the stinger sticking out. And then I find a place and I make a knot. So it won't come undone. And then I go into the next stitch and I make another knot. Now we're going to hide our yarn. So we go down inside the B and we come out someplace else. Make sure not to split your work. And we're going to do this three times. Go in the same hole you came out of and come out another hole. You see that? One more time, go down in the same hole and come out another hole. Then you're going to pull tight on your yarn and cut it off as close as you can to the bee and it'll suck back in there. And your butt is done. So with these two ends, we're going to knot them together with a double knot. And we're going to put these two on the on the hook, on the needle. I cut off the excess yarn so it's even. And then I place both of them on my needle. Then I go down in the same hole I came out of and we're going to hide this just like we hid the tail from the hole, from the butt. When you've hit it, pull on your yarn and fasten off. So far, this is what you should have. A bee with a stinger. Time to make the arms or the legs. <coughs> and the antennas. Leave a little bit of a tail just like we did with the stinger and make a slip knot. And we're going to chain five. Cut your yarn off leaving a tail and pull it through. Now pull tight and your chain should shrink just a little bit and this is what you should have. You need to make three more of these. I'm going to make my three more and I'll return. Okay I have all those done. I'm going to set them aside. I did forget to mention that we need white so put your black yarn up, we're done with it. Get out your white. We're going to make the wings next and then we'll sew everything on. So you will need a magic circle for this part. And we're going to put, <coughs> excuse me, six single crochets in the magic ring. And then close it up. Wrap.
Round two and final round. Place two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. Once you get your 12 done, in that next, very next stitch, we're going to make a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain off and chain one and fasten off. Leave a little bit of a tail for sewing it on. And pull tight. And this is what your wing should look like. You need to make one more of these. I'm going to make my other one and I'll be right back. All right. So get your legs and your antennas out. On the tiny end, we can cut that off. So now it's time to sew these on. For the antennas, we're going to go two rows back between the yellow and the black, right behind the eyes, and we're going to put pull our antenna through and get your other one <clears throat> and do the same thing but on the other side and come out the same place that you came out with the first one. If you pull a little bit those antennas will sink down in, into your amigurumi. And so now we're just going to double knot this and hide it like the rest of it. I'll show you one more time how to hide your yarn. Go down in the same place that you came out of. Go through your stuffing and come out another hole. Go down in the same spot. Come out another place. And pull tight, cut your yarn. Now he has two little antlers, two little antennas, I'm sorry. So with the legs, we're going to go on the underside. Same thing. In between the yellow and the black, 
I go about right under the eyes. and come out somewhere else. Pull a little tight so that it goes in the work. Same thing with your other one. I'm going to knot these together, hide them, and I'll be back and we'll do the wings. So this is what it should look like so far. So get a wing. We can cut the little tails off of this too. Put him on your needle. Okay, <clears throat> with these, I go between the antennas and we're only going to sew down the bottom part. So you go in with your needle through the bee and come out a hole and you go in the same spot and come up through the bottom somewhere like that then I go down and make another stitch Come out somewhere else, go in that same hole, we're going to make another stitch, then I go in, same thing. show you on this. This goes in the B, the tail goes in the B, and then I come up right about here on the wing. And then when I go down, there's a little hole right here. I go in this hole and then I come up through this stitch on the side. And then I go down into that same little hole. So you put your wings together like that. And go down in the B. Come out. Go in the same hole. Come out a stitch, go down inside the B, so now my wings are on. But I go in and I place one more stitch and I go through the first wing I go through the second wing and I come out where I left off so now your wings look like this and they can come up 
So I'm going to add now my two ends together and hide them and I'll, I'll be right back. And there you have it. A little tiny bee. Next up <clears throat> is flower square number eight. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow. Not, there was nothing really too complicated on it. <clears throat> If you have any questions or concerns, you can leave them in the comments below. I would gladly like to hear them, and I will respond back. Um, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Make sure you make it to the all. That way you get notified of every time I upload a video. If you've liked the, this video, please give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, please be safe out there. Bye.